for this game. Metro State, this is a non-conference action. Carroll College out of Montana. They are an NAIA squad. College in the purple. Evans goes all the way up with a nice jumper, five feet away from the basket. I think Metro up early in the corner. That's Medina, three-pointer. Got goes, 6'5", out of Ogden, Utah. Metro has, there's 22 seconds on the shot, and there's, once again, Sam Cartmel with another three. He has five points on the game. Miner goes around the pick by Morris. There's Nicholas up and in. Dante Nicholas goes around, a nice pick by Jonathan Morse. One opportunity, they'll finally get it over to Reyes, but a little late, he'll go up, throw it up, and it does not go in. Nicholas looking for a pushing foul that never came, so that is it, end of the first half, 37 to 37. This week with 19 in each game, spin, Morris off the glass, and good, as he ran over number 30. Rodgers didn't even see it, running, Garland goes up, left hand off glass, and good, Garland, the team's leading scorer, puts his team up two. Long three-pointer, Medina. Who hasn't made one in here in the second half. Rebound blocked by Shakir Johnson. And here comes Metro State, two on one, three on one. Oh, underneath pass, Illinois Glass in. Fantastic play. Nice job by Reggie Evans. Metro State looking for win number seven, six and two. Miner comes up with the loose ball. He's got some open lane. He's gonna bring it up and a slam. Brian Miner throwing it down. Nice job by Miner picking the pocket in the dunk. Go check it out if you're listening. <laughs> Baseline, Medina goes up and under, fan the foul. Nice oh, acrobatic wow. shot by Medina. But what a move by Medina. Oh, nice pass to Miner for the slam. The defense disappeared and he found him for the open dunk. Five, four, Reyes penetrates, goes up, off the glass and in. Nice play. You can see the bench get off their feet. Tie ball game with 49 seconds left. I'm not sure what they're doing. Loose ball, Reggie Evans. He comes up with the steal. He's going to go all the way up. It does not go in, but he will get two free throws with 4.5 seconds left. Eric, here comes the first free throw. That is good. Huge free throw. Reggie Evans, 71 to 70. Second one is up, and it's good. 72 to 70. Coach is saying keep their hands up. No fouls. Loose ball. Mitchell comes up with it. And, they're, and they're gonna, no, and that's the, are they going to give him the timeout? Or is the game over? No, they're going to call and say they're going to get the timeout. There's probably only a few seconds anyway, Mark, and that might be the ball game. And they give it to Evans. That does not count. Doesn't go in anyway. And Metro State escapes. 72 to 70, Mark. What an exciting game. Metro found a way to win when uh, it came down to the nitty gritty. Talk about what happened on that final play. It was 70-70. You came up with the steal. You took it up strong. Uh, what made what made you, I guess, urge you to kind of take it, uh, steal it from him at that point instead of just playing defense? Well, the play before the guy beat me, you know, it kind of frustrated me, you know. So I seen the trap coming. I was reading the guy, so I just went for it, you know. That's the game winning plays, you know. You just need those. So just talk about your role this year. Last year, you know, you were kind of uh, the role players. You watched the six seniors do what they do. This year, you kind of become one of the more major factors. You lead the team in scoring. How's that transition been for you this year? I mean, it's been good. It's been a change. You know, I haven't scored like that since high school. So it's, it's something I could take the role, you know. I'm ready to take on that leadership role. So it's better for me. And that was going on tonight in the first half. They were lighting you up from the three-point line. What did you guys do at uh, halftime, or what did Coach say to adjust that? Because they only had two in the second half. We just had to pick up the pressure. Uh, first of all, not give them easy looks, contest everything. Once we do that, and then we're, they're all right. We just can't let them do that in the first half. Three games in a row. I mean, coming down to the wire, you guys haven't been making it easy for yourselves, have you? No, I mean, everybody's given us their best game, and, and they're hitting difficult shots late in the game. And, you know, we're giving them a little bit of hope, leaving the door open just a little bit because of our decision-making has been lacking at some times with either a turnover or we're trying to force it in there. Uh, questionable shot selection or miss free throw and you know we're trying to clean those areas up I think if we clean those areas up we're gonna hopefully not continue to have close games